Hey there folks, it's your boy Topper today, gonna bring you a sloppy Saturdays. Yes, I'm already proclaiming it, we've got Typhus again, gonna be playing as his Hive Tyrant today against Mr. Fwend! Mr. Fwend and his Chaos Sorcerer. Good luck, have fun, Fwend. Oh, isn't this nice? They're so friendly. So this is a pretty big map, but it's not as big as the Redux that Inikura made, because this side is quite laney. You know, all this area hasn't been used. Isn't it funny how it's like here as an asset, but it's not, you know, shoved down. It's just inaccessible. Very strange. So the result is that this part of the map is actually Wow, okay, um, sneezing fit, hold on, didn't have my antihistamines today, now I'm having sneezing fits, whoops, so yeah, this is a very laney part of the map, which is going to give a disadvantage to the Tyranids compared to if it was a bigger map. Tyranids, obviously, super fast faction, especially when they're running Hormagaunts. These guys being speed 6.5 with a leap into combat and a melee charge, they're very, very speedy. Quite awkward for Chaos to deal with right at the start of the game, less awkward in late tier 1.5. And the reason for that is that default heretics lose to default Hormagaunts whilst being slower. And then your CSM are only speed 5. They will beat Hormagaunts one on one, but they're just so slow. And if they take any damage, they will get overwhelmed quite easily by the Hormagaunts. But things change as you get into tier 1.5 because you can get your Aspiring Champion on your Heretics, and then things are different because then the Heretics can easily 1v1 the Hormagaunts. Normally, you would see Warriors to back up the Hormagons, provide some more melee support with the Synapse, giving damage resistance to them, and the knockback that they do when they charge into combat. But I guess because Typhus is the Hive Tyrant, he is opting instead for Raveners. Now, I will say it's very, very weird to only go for two Hormagons and three gens at the start as Tyranids. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to not do this. Tyranids already are a faction that has tremendous amounts of early game pressure. So just getting more units out generally is the better decision. Getting free gens doesn't typically really speed up your timing on your Ravenous. You can see that he is exceeding his amount of power that he needs right now to get another Ravener. He already has the power, he doesn't have the wreck. So the third gen wasn't necessary to get the double Ravenous out ASAP. And he is paying the consequences for it because he's been pushed off, because he has fewer squads of Hormagons. Now the other thing is, so you might say, oh, okay, well that's that's an early game disadvantage for him, but he wants to get a faster tier 2, because he wants to get some sort of tier 2 unit out fast, but if you're the Tyranids, what are you doing with that, you know? You can't get a transport, you can't get a walker, you've not got a crazy sub-commander, so why are you fast in tier 2? It doesn't really make any sense. So this play is, is bad, objectively. There is no reason to ever place down free gens like this. It is completely suboptimal. Chaos Sorcerer, honestly, you could just fight the Hive Tyrant right now. The Hive Tyrant's very low and the Chaos Sorcerer has this Flame Sword. You've got to be careful against this, because it does the damage over time with the melee strikes. And that can do full damage on retreat. And it's deceiving, because the swing itself initially doesn't do a lot of damage. But, you know, if you don't retreat soon enough, you're going to get killed by the damage over time. Can he burst it down on retreat here? Actually gets quite close, so it looks like about 50 damage they do on retreat, the dual Raveners at level 1, against hero armor. But he had about 70 HP, so he lives. It's going to be Noise Marines here for Mr. Friend. Oh, this is interesting, actually. I remember earlier, Mr. Friend was purchasing Havocs, and I guess he's seen the fast Raveners and decided to go against it. I actually really like that play. Noise Marines should be a lot more effective here. Gonna have to Cacophony. They're not great in a 1v1 against Ravenous, because Ravenous are actually hybrid units that can go into melee, and they just melee down the Noise Marines, but you can see there the disruption from the Cacophony is quite nice. Ravenous, they're good at damage, but they're quite squishy for their cost. So if you've got them trying to melee Noise Marines up close, and then you're hitting them with Cacophony, then you can hit them with Doom Bolts and shoot them with Bolters. 
you're going to bleed those ravenous, and that's going to be really effective. I actually really like this choice of the Noise Marines. So, not only are the Noise Marines not as hard countered by Ravenous as Havocs, but Typhus here is going for a fast gens build, and the Noise Marines have that flame, a weapon with a Sonic Blaster, so they will be able to destroy those generators very fast. I'm a little bit more skeptical of the Grenade Launcher Heretic choice. We'll see how it does. He will be able to disrupt the Ravenous at ranged, for sure. Wow, they're all going to be jumping in right now? Okay. They get a little bit of knockback immunity after the burrow. Cacophony's going to knock them over. But they're very fast, the Ravenous, too. And they should just... Oh, I was going to say they should just melee these ranged units. And they will be able to bully their way through. Hmm. Obviously, Mr. Friend here making a big mistake sending his default heretics in first just to get them shot down and disrupted. He should be keeping them behind his ranged units to protect them, counter-initiate, and he should give them an aspiring champion. You could honestly, if you miss a friend against this composition, purchase another default heretic squad and just use them for capping purposes. You see that Typhus is running around this home with only one model here, so overall Typhus's upkeep shouldn't be too high. Ironically, he's uh, got less, a lot less wreck income right now than Mr. Friend. But let's have a look at the requisition points. 30, 30, 30. So yeah, that's interesting. They've both got plus 90 from the wreck points. Man, why is the wreck so bad for these guys? I guess the Raveners are draining the wreck after the 30 pop. I don't know, but that's quite bad, actually. It explains why you don't see this build very often. The wreck income for Typhus is not great. Quite a lot of upkeep on these Ravenous. Plus the bleed. Did he lose any there? That's six, isn't it? Yeah, he didn't lose any Ravenous, so that's good for him. Very good for him, actually, because that would be quite a significant amount of bleed. Typhus is going to get to tier two first, but... Mm, Ravenous... They do scale via the Synapse, but they don't scale amazingly, because in order to scale, you're going to need your Venom Brood nearby to boost their ranged prowess, or an Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood. It doesn't have any Warriors yet, so Warriors plus Adrenal Glands would be quite expensive, and then you've got to pay for upgrades on these as well. Wow, he's coming out of base without full HP in order to defend his gen farm, but this is risky. This is where he could potentially start bleeding. Geotix, honestly, doing pretty good here. Oh, is this a Demonic Summoning? Oh no, it was a warp with the AC ticks. Nice play there from Mr. Friend. A lot of DPS coming out from the Triple Raveners, but again, he can get into melee with these, shut them down with a Doom Blast, and then the Sorcerer is just going to be able to pluck off models with that Coruscating Sword. Gets one of the Raveners and the rest of them flee. We do have the improved Synapse on the Hive Tyrant, but no weapon. So even here, the Sorcerer can probably 1v1 the Hive Tyrant thanks to the Flame Sword doing such good damage. Mr. Friend built a gen in the mid too. That's really strange. And Typhus messed up his micro, and he lost a home against squad capping over here to the Noise Marines. Wow, that's bad. So he's only got his default homer here, with the one model. That is going to be really risky against the Sorcerer. You know, given the Sorcerer teleports. But Typhus going for a ranged build, he did pick up the Venom Brood, get them ranged synapse, so now you can see that the nearby Ravener Broods are going to do 35% more damage and have 25% more health. So that's, you know, that's a lot of extra range damage. A lot of piercing DPS coming out here. So beware Plague Marines, you won't go them because they're only light infantry. Honestly, even Blood Letters would be a bit dubious here. But investing heavily in the CSM with a heavy infantry armor could be effective. You've got some good tools on the Chaos Sorcerer. The Demon Armor can be effective. Oh, he's gone double Grenade Launcher Ticks. Interesting. Oh, well. Just dodged the majority of the damage there from the Doom Bolts with the Burrow, which gives him temporary damage resistance. A nice barrage, though, because Typhus really messing up his micro there, moving, burrowing them all onto the same spot, leaves them very vulnerable to abilities like that. And here come the Noise Marines. But Hive Tyrant's so good against Chaos, man. Because of the lack of single entity range DPS that Chaos have, normally you counter that with a Havoc, but you don't want to go a Havoc against the Hive Tyrant because he is the best hero to get Raveners with. Since Raveners mean you don't have Warriors often, 
therefore you have less synapse. The Hive Tank provides the synapse. And you can see these tier 2 Raveners with their ranged synapse are absolutely bullying their way through Mr. Friend's army. One of the AC ticks was killed there. Ah, oh, we had a lag spike. That's unfortunate. Crushing Claws is up in the Hive Tank. I mean, this composition is actually quite good from Typhus. Yeah, you don't really want to get a Blood Crusher. That's not going to do anything. But even a, a Chaos Dreadnought is going to be a bit questionable right now due to the Venom Brood plus the Crushing Claws doing 108 Heavy Melee DPS. You could later if you've got a more fleshed out army. Blastmaster, I think it might be a little bit premature for it due to the immobility. It's a very immobile unit being a setup unit. Oh, can the sorcerer kill this with a teleport? You would assume so. Is he not going to go for it? What's he doing? Oh, surely he could kill it. Bop. He did it too late and he missed the swing. Wow. Bit of a fail there from Mr. Friend because you can see. That single Hormagon for very little upkeep here is capping a lot of the map. So a tier 2 Havoc. Okay, keep that behind the CSM and the Geotix. I really think these CSM need to get some upgrades. Give them markers each. Focus fire the Venom Brood then. Ooh, Raptors. Yeah, this is actually an interesting time for Raptors, but Typhus has kind of seen it coming. It's going to go for Gene Stealers. So Raptors have a niche against Raveners over Bloodletters because Raptors are heavy infantry. So they take a lot less damage than Bloodletters from the piercing DPS of these Devourers. Plus, they're actually better at killing kiting ranged units. And Raveners are annoying at kiting because their speed is 6.5. So they can kite Bloodletters quite effectively and pew pew them. But Ra Raptors, of course, when they land, suppress the target, which then means they can't flee as easily so the raptors will be very good against the the raveners compared to bloodletters the problem is it's now gene stealers and these guys are some of the premier counter initiation melee units in the game power melee tier 2 melee squad not quite as good when they don't have melee synapse but look they're going to do a lot of damage anyway an attempted combo here onto the raptors we're seeing the psychic stream scream uses a counter initiation tool here to reduce the damage of the raptors by 30% <clears throat> quite effective no spran champion yet on the raptors and they're basically fighting solo which didn't really go too well the idea was to press the blob and then do it whilst they're in the coruscating flames to make them take that damage over time but yeah not not too effective there is going to be a bit of a gen bash going on over here do the homers get out well sorry the homer there's only one and it does. To be fair to Typhus, he's used that single Homagon very, very well. Mr. Friend just going tier 3. But he doesn't have any gens, so he's creating this... He's doing the classic error. Go tier 3 with no gens and then be stuck there for ages, not building anything. And then that lets your enemy catch up in tech. Hello? Are you going to fire, Blastmaster? Won't do crazy amounts to the Hive Tyrant. But do a bit of chip, I guess. Typhus lost his power too, to be fair. Quite shocked not to see more upgrades on the CSM. Is that them over here? Yeah. Also shocked that they're going for the requisition point and not the VP. T Mr. Friend here has got a very nice lead against Typhus. gonna say that's some brave raptors there trading with a crushing claw hive turret in melee highest dps melee weapon in the game by the way not what you want to be trading in melee with really wonder what the plan is is it going to be a predator Hive Tyrant gives so many options. But, you know, he's got the Raptors to suppress things like the Venom Brood. So it could be useful. It's a relatively large map, albeit quite laney, which does definitely inhibit the value of tanks. 
Alternatively, Terminators actually would be pretty brilliant because there's so much piercing DPS. Piercing doesn't really do anything to super heavy infantry armor of Terminators. Just keep them back with the Storm Bolters, and then if Gene Steelers try to run in, you can shoot them to pieces. You can get the Robes of Torment instead of the Vestments of the Warp. Probably would scale quite well here. Just pin them in place. Terminators will trade absurdly cost effectively against Raveners. And then you'll have a bit more focus fire against the Hive Turret too. The only problem is the Terminators don't really do amazing things against a Carnifex, fix, but Ranged Terminators can pick up the Auto Cannon. So that would give you some ranged AV potential still. So I think I think Terminators would be the choice here. And he does actually have uh did they get increased in power from a hundred? They 125 now? Lack of power is clearly a problem here for both players. One would assume that Typhus wants a Khan effects, but he is actually controlling the VPs quite well right now, so he might just wait a little bit longer and try and get a Swarm Lord out. If he can survive that long, it's hard to see what Mr. Friend could do against a Swarm Lord. He's got three Ravenous still, so things like Last Cannons coming out aren't really going to be a threat. You can see that the Raptor's not really achieving too much here. They're not jumping on the Ravenous, which is weird. So they're just bleeding. Blastmaster kind of saved their lives there with a knockback. And yeah, do these guys bleed? They bleed a lot. I think he's cancelling the reinforce. Oh, he's going for a Predator. Mm. Hey, it could work, but it's going to need some real good tactical engagements. Of course, the Hive Torrent can swap his Crushing Claws to a Venom Cannon and he can put a lot of pressure on a Predator. You've already got the AV of the Venom Brood, but as I say, you got a Teleporting Sorcerer, you've got Raptors, you've got the means to shut that Venom Brood down, but you probably do want Mark of Zinch, but of course now there's no chance of getting a Mark of Zinch, no one near enough power. It's quite a power intensive upgrade, I believe it's 30 power or something, and then you really want to get the Aspiring Champion 2, which is another 25. An extra 55 power to make those CSM better is probably not affordable right now. We're only just seeing capillary towers coming up now, which seems a little bit out of date. Ooh, but a beautiful first engagement here from the Predator. Is it going to continue chasing? No. Fail. Fail. Could have killed the Genius Steelers there with the Predator, I'm pretty sure. But he didn't chase. Predator for now is still default. It's just going to be poking at these Raveners, but it's got to be careful. There is a Venom Brood at the back, and of course the Hive Tower will put on pressure. Can't let him get close with those crushing claws. Okay, we've got Tank Miss Micro already. Not ideal. But the Raptors are going to get on the Venom Brood. Just keep kiting the Hive Tyrant. As soon as the Venom Brood are forced off, there is no threat to the Predator tank. He needs to keep driving. Heretic should be getting back from base and healing the tank. I don't know why the tank's scared. The Venom Brood have left. Okay, the Hive Turret now did don his Venom Cannon. The tank can just chase... Oh, Typhus just retreats all the Raveners anyway. I think that's a bit of a misplay. I should have split them up. Could have sent some down here to make sure nothing goes over and takes back the natural wreck like the CSM. And now the Hive Turret's gone. So Mr. Friend needs to get his ass out there. Probably would be worth building some Heretics right now. I feel like he's really struggling with map control. Of course, right now he would like his heretics to be capping, but instead he is too busy repairing the Predator. Surprisingly few models have died this game, haven't they? I'm just looking at the levels. It's still level 1 of the CS, still level 1 of the Noise Marines, even the Raveners. Okay, they got level 3, damn. They've been killing more Chaos models. I guess the lack of Gaunts has meant that very few Tyranids have actually died, and yeah, Typhus has been retreating quite early as well. I don't know how Mr. Friend is going to be able to deal with a Swarm Lord. Let's see. I feel like he's been using his Chaos Sorcerer very poorly, to be honest. He's... The Chorus Game Flame Sword, sword and, and Teleport is fine, but... You know. That's all he's done. He's got a lot more up his sleeve than that. 
He did make the one good play with the warp in with the Aspiring Champion ticks. I like that. That was a good play, but... You know, you've got a lot of options like that with the CS. Probably going to need a last cannon right now. And a really, he needs to upgrade his damn Predator too. I think Mark of Khan is going to be necessary, even though, of course, you want to kill this Swarm Lord. Most of the threats really are the infantry. So the 75% extra damage in your bolters, in addition to the 25% on the cannon, probably is, is worth it. And extra speed to kite the melee. But he's going to go for the last cannon. I don't know, man. Without the autocannon predator, how are you going to kill all this infantry? Uh, these raveners have been a problem for a very long time. I think both of the tier 2 armors for the sorcerer would have been great. If you catch Raveners in the Orbs of Torment, then they can't actually burrow. It stops jump units, so... Pretty damn effective. Last cannon, shooting at Raveners for some reason. Does get a good hit there on the Swarm Lord, but he's not pursuing. Obviously he's wary of the Venom Brood and the Hive Tyrant who are now coming into zone out the tank. Turrets are not covering the tank from the Venom Brood right now. But Typhus is kind of inting going into the base. This is good use of Sorcerer Worship actually. Very nice Sorcerer Worship. Because Hive Turret is annoying because you can't suppress him. So you take his damage from those turrets, but you can't suppress him. So he's just going to keep shooting at the Predator. But not when it goes invisible. So that, that was nice to see. Mr. Fred has got some... You know, he's aware of some of the tools of his Chaos Sorcerer and he uses them quite well, for sure, but I think the Tier 2 players have been lacking here. I do think, in general, this Predator was a poor choice. The Terminators would have been a better play, combined with the Robes of Torment. And I think he needed some more ticks out earlier as well. It's quite funny, I'm saying all this, he does have a triple cap against Typhus right now. But how long is that going to last for? I mean, he's got yeah, he's got his raptors over here. He killed the Hormagaunt that was running around capping at some point, so that's cool. Typhus needs to disengage his giant blob a little bit. Or just sit on the two VPs on this side. But there's a lot of VPs left for that. Ooh, Mac of Corn. Oh, you know what? I really like this play, actually, Mac of Corn right now. Because, you know, they're still heavy infantry, so they're, they're quite resilient to the piercing. But they get into melee faster, and when they get into melee, they get the ranged damage resist. And they can really put the pressure on the Venom Brood. Of course, they can tie up the Hive Tyrant as well. So there you go, bang. Kills the Venom Brood. Ooh, nice Blastmaster shot. Okay. Okay. Swarm Lord's charging in, but it's alone against the Predator. Predator needs to fire. It won't fire whilst it's trying to get infiltrated by the Worship. It doesn't want to reveal itself. Alright, but now we've got Leech Essence on the Swarm Lord. And is that going to be able to kill the Heretics? Nope. Another good chunk of damage coming out here. Where did the Corn Marines go? The Corn Marines are running down the center. We've got Raptors on the sidelines. Raptors have constantly been running around the sidelines, capping the VPs. Corn Marines will take this point. I don't think that they can solo the Hive Tyrant, though. Might be a close fight. He's only got this improved synapse. Not a very good selfish armor. They, they don't want to do this, though. They don't want to cap. They can't cap in front of him. Yeah, he does way too much damage. Swarm Lord's getting pretty low on HP here. It's at about... What's that? About 25% uh, HP or something? No, I'm on that. But it's getting there. I mean, he's, he's beating Typhus quite handily on the VPs, which I find hilarious. Why isn't Typhus just sending one of these Ravenous to cap the VP? I don't understand. Typhus is trolling again. This is what he likes to do. He likes to troll against noobs. Mr. Friend is better than a lot of the players that I see fighting Typhus. This is the difficulty of fighting the friggin' Swarm Lord. All the Tyranids are reinforcing off of them. And look at the resources as well. Kind of crazy. Tyranniformation goes in. That can actually one-shot turrets. <laughs> There you go. But all the infantry do get routed, but they're not getting wiped, that's the problem. It's very difficult when you've only got one source of AV. You really needed a Laz Havoc as well to snare the, the Swarm Lord from a distance. I mean, honestly, it could have just stayed in this region and it would have been quite impactful. 
I don't think the melee can take out the Swarm Lord here. Nah. They're getting close, actually. The Melter pistol from the Corn Marine Champion. Oh my god, they're gonna kill it. Ha! Yes, boys! Yes, boys! Wow. Corn Marines. There you go, Melter Pistol when you get Mark of Corn on the Aspiring Champion is going to slay the Swarm Lord. But I think... Well, Typhus is actually behind still. Oh my god, there was an Abyss in the fucking base. What the hell? Okay, that killed a Ravener Brood. <laughs> I love it. And actually, Typhus is now out of resources because he bought a Lictor and he's also getting a, getting a Khan effects. I don't think the Lictor can beat both of these guys right now, Raptors and Corn Marines. Not all the models are attacking though, because the VP blocking. But no, the Lictor, ah, uh, the Lictor wasn't going to win that. I think it was worth killing that. Well, Mr. Friend doesn't own this VP. He's got the contested right now, but Typhus has the two to one because he's got the Hive Turret capping, and nothing can really deal with the Hive Turret right now. Hmm. And there's Khan effects. Mr. Friend was never able to get his power back. All that pressure from the Swarm Lord stopped him. And that is probably going to stop him being able to get another Predator out, which makes dealing with this Khan effects extremely difficult, especially when it goes for a farm back. Yeah, he's really going to need a Predator to deal with that. But he's never going to be able to accumulate 125 power at this rate. So I think Typhus probably will win now. Despite the VPs, but you never know what to say when you're watching Typhus. As I say, I think it really comes down to a lack of Chains of Torment. Wow, is he going to kill the Hive Turret now? A lack of Chains of Torment or the Demon Armor? The Demon Armor is good not only for the shield, which protects you from the DPS of the Ravenous, but also because it gives you more max energy, which then makes it easier to shoot out six bolt Doom Bolts. Because remember, Doom Bolts are only three bolts unless you have a hundred or more energy. Which she requires 100% energy at level 1 with no armor. When you're level 5, you have 140 anyway, and then you have demon armor, and I think it's like plus 30 or something. It's very easy then to constantly have 6 bolt doom bolts, which is a lot of DPS coming at your sorcerer. Could be good for bleeding the blobs that Typhus was playing with, because he was playing extremely blobby, which is how his VPs have got so low in the first place. But he hasn't got anything up here capping. I guess the Raptors decapped it and then flew off. The Lictor is going to be problematic. He's got that 50% extra capping speed. And I don't know, Mr. Friend doesn't really have many good assets left. God bless him, he sure tried. I mean, he even lost his base to it to a transformation. You hate to see it. be bamboozled if you manage to win but I, I've been bamboozled by some of these players for us before that's for sure not sure why he's sending everything after these rippers and farm back sorcerer needs to disengage and get onto the point but clearly there's a lot of units there he's gonna need the support of the raptors corn marines should probably be going down bottom I don't know how well the level 1 lictor would fare against level 4 corn marines he'd probably get wrecked to be honest but not with gene stealers then he'd, he'd be alright Funny that the Lictor just flesh hooked the Sorcerer or a Corn Marine and not the actual Last Cannon Havoc. Level 4 Corn Marine's kind of kicking ass, but Typhus is just pushing forward here because he... Well, he's got the VP advantage. He's trying to drain all the VPs. I mean, the Can Effects falls to the Last Cannon there, but I'm pretty sure... Nah, there's nothing to go into the VPs. He needs this VP, even if he catches the top, which he isn't. Stop the cap so he loses. Mm, there you go, folks. That was pretty hectic. Honestly, quite impressed by Mr. Friend. A shame about the lag spikes. Probably could have won it if it wasn't for those lag spikes. He made some really nice plays there with the with the sorcerer actually, using a few of his tricks. Just swap out the vestments of the warp. And raptors were interesting. I feel like they weren't really doing anything at first, but it kind of I don't know, they, they seem to scale quite well in the end. They are quite good to have jump units on this map. 
jumping across these sort of impassable mountain ranges in the middle provides a lot of mobility. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one, folks. Especially for a Saturday, a bit of a hectic one. That's going to be all for you, boy. Top. But this time, I am signing out.